one thing I despise to do is to pick up brass. I mean, it needs to be done and, uh, you know, it has value to it. At least the real brass and not steel. And you can spend a lot of time just going around and picking it up right off the field, especially in the hot sun. And, uh, you know, you're finished your day of shooting. You want to get on home. Guys, picking up range brass is a real chore. And even if you don't reload, being able to give it to friends or to send it in to some of the companies that remanufacture ammunition, and they'll give you a credit toward the brass. But regardless, one day you may start reloading. So uh, being able to get that brass and keep it is really smart. A couple of things that I've come across is the brass wizard and these little shell sorters. Uh, these are great items to be able not only to pick up your brass, but also to keep it organized and sorted. And so we're going to take a look at it. We're going to show you how it works. Great little items. And I got these from Brown Ales. We have the Brass Wizard and we have the Shell Sorter. And these are two items that it just really makes picking up brass and processing brass so much easier. Uh, guys, it doesn't matter if you reload or not. Uh, picking up brass is just smart. You can always give it to friends. Uh, you know, it's just terrible that some of this brass can end up in a trash can, which, yeah, I've seen it. There's a lot of companies out there that remanufacture brass for ammunition. And there's a lot of companies also that will do trade-ins. You can send brass to them, and they will process it, and they'll give you a credit toward the brass you have. So this doesn't really matter if you reload or not. This is definitely something to me that if you shoot pretty a lot, like I do, uh, this is a no-brainer having this and it'll this right here alone this brass wizard will save your back the brass is aluminum has PVC sections for the adjustment and for your hand and a little place to hook it if you need to um, one of the things about this it goes from 30 and a half inches uh, total length and then you can just twist the adjustment and this just adjust it adjusts out to 49 inches so there's a lot of adjustment that goes here and then just tighten it down to wherever you want to leave it. So, I mean, it's just really very user-friendly. This was actually from the nut industry to be able to pick up nuts, and uh, it just slips in. Right here, there's a label on here that just says cartridge case pickup tool, uniquetech.com. The little cage or the basket uh, is made of steel, and it does pick up. But what it does, it just kind of separates uh, as you go along the ground. Um, this really works great on concrete. It works good on dirt, on heavy dirt. Uh, if you're getting into gravel, it'll pick up the gravel. Uh, so, you know, that's just one of the things it does. Uh, but it spins, and so as you just go along, and then, of course, these little handles here. It's really easy to do, and it's amazing how it picks it up. really fast. It will pick up a few rocks and acorns on a surface like this, uh, which is understandable, but you know, it really saves you a lot of time and you can sort that out at a bench rather than uh, while you're kneeling down in a field. Uh, you know, you can adjust it to whatever length you want to go to, bring it, twist it down, and you're tight. Here with this packed dirt, it really makes it quick. Uh, you get it the long way, so you end up turning it a little bit here and there, but man, does this pick it up quick. Guys, that's like the sound of money. It's just a great way to save your brass, and if you ever decide to start reloading, you're going to have a good uh, stash of brass and to be able to get you going. The Brass Wizard also comes with the wire dumper, and this attaches to any five-gallon bucket, and it just opens up the cage on your Brass Wizard. Take the wire dumper, place it on the bucket, just take your Brass Wizard, slide it over, just move it back and forth.
and it just opens it up. It opens up these wires and allows for the brass just to fall through. You know, sometimes the most simple things are the most genius. Now the shell sorter comes in three different trays and it goes from largest, which is the lightest color, down to the smallest, which of course hits the darkest. Uh, this goes anywhere from 45 ACP, 308, uh, 44 Magnum, 7.62 by 39, and any larger calibers, what happens is they will retain themselves in this bucket. So anything smaller than that will just fall out. And then, of course, you go to your blue, which is 40 caliber, 38, 357, 10 millimeter, and any calibers like that, they will remain in the tray, and then the rest will fall into here. Uh, 9 millimeter, uh, 556, 223, 380. Now, there is a steel sleeve you can put in the bottom. I don't have one, which I'm going to get because 380 uh, will go through that small sleeve. And that really helps because 380 and 9mm are very difficult uh, to pick out. And so it's a really simple process, and we're going to just, I'm going to show you how it works. And having a big bag of brass like this, it really makes it so much easier to sort through. I mean, we've got from 308 all the way down to 9mm. Here I have some of the standard five gallon buckets, different type lids. And first thing we we'll do is put our yellow in first. That's the largest. You don't really want to fill this tray up, so we're going to just dump some brass in here. Now again, there is a lot of different brass here, a lot of different assortment. So we're going to just shake it. It's almost like popcorn. When you quit hearing all the sound of brass falling in, you know you're pretty good. Now if you want to go bigger with the brass, just run it through with your fingers. Okay, here we have what's left over from the orange bucket of all the contents, and we have all this left over. Now we're going to the black tray. Anything you have less than 380 is going to go down into the bottom. That means any 22, your dirt, uh, small 25 calibers, which I've been doing a lot of mouse gun reviews, but I don't pick that brass up typically. We're going to put in some. Looks like all we've got in here is 9mm and 5.56 or 223, um, any kind of small rounds. The only thing I'm getting now is I'm getting dirt in the bottom, which that really helps to keep this more clean. Also when I was going I found a, a regular live round that happened to be in here picked up from the range. Uh, so now all we have in here again is we have some 300 blackout as well. Uh, this is going to be much easier to sort than with 308, 45, 4, you know, 44 Magnum and all that stuff. So this is really getting it down there. One good thing is it allows you to find steel ammunition like this 7.62 by 39 or aluminum case stuff. You want to get rid of it because you can't reload it or not really effectively. And as you can see, it doesn't take long to fill this bucket up. And that's a lot quicker than sorting it out one by one. So guys, just a couple of tools that really make life much easier. It saves you a lot of time sorting your brass. It saves you a lot of time just picking up your brass. And that gives you more time to shoot. It gives you more time to reload. Or again, send that brass off, recycle it, and save some money on your next ammunition order. Now these are available at brownells.com. In fact, that's where I got these. And uh, the Brass Wizard is $59.99. And then the, the uh, Shell Sorter is $36.99. Guys, for about 100 bucks, you can take care of a lot of trouble and you can really save your back, if nothing else. <laughs> so the Brass Wizard from Brownells, thumbs way up. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America, long live the Republic. Now we have the Brass Wizard and we also have the Cell Shooter. So the Brass Wizard and the Cell... 
So the Brass Wizard and the Shell Sorter set, thumbs way up. 